up guys, it's Tokim back with our VGC Battle Spot Laddering series climbing the ladder as we take on the VGC Battle uh, Battle Spot Ladder with teams that you guys build or that I built. This week we are still with the team that I built. As you can see though, we did drop Metagross. Definitely wasn't uh, pulling its weight, missed three Zen headbutts in one game off screen. And it caused me to even reset my, my battle spot rating because we got so low just trying to use this team with Metagross. Just wasn't working out. I think the team is much improved now that we got rid of Metagross. So thank you all so much for watching. If you do enjoy this episode, please do consider like, share, and subscribing. It really does help out the channel, and I would much appreciate it. Anyways, though, as you can see, we got a few off-screen battles still in after uh, after the reset. Uh, because I didn't want us getting people below 1,500. I think that's when you get the kind of... Not that, not that quality of battles. So we are going to, uh, we are going to be a 1540 at the least. So we got two more wins and losses. Um, and I do apologize. We do get a 1518 opponent from Utah in the United States named Parker. Even look like Parker that plays Spider-Man when he's not in the Spider-Man outfit. Anyways, though, our opponent Parker is going to have a team of Tapu Koko, Celestilla, Alolan Marowak, Gashodon, Tapu Lele, and Garchomp. So a very standard quality team. Let's see how we can how we can deal with taking this team down. I'm gonna go with my double stilly. Uh, could be a mistake. I could end up regretting that. But dealing with guard chomp is just so much so much yeah my opponent will likely lead that guard chomp I'm banking on my opponent leading guard no if he's leading guard chomp then we need to we need to lead our tapu lele we need tapu lele out here if he's leading guard chomp going to go tapu lele parasite Magnazone and I still want to go sell spell. Still go sell spell. Still go sell spell. We'll go Pelipper. We'll go Pelipper. I hope I don't regret it. I'm bringing close to it. I hope I don't regret it. I hope I don't regret it. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, I do. Oh, sorry, I have an itch on my leg. All right. Um, I do apologize for missing an episode yesterday, though. I did forget that I had house sitting to do for a friend's family while they were out of town. Completely spaced that. And then I also was making it up to a friend and hanging out with them since I missed their birthday. So, um, I just got blindsided by a few things. And there was two things I really had to do, so I do apologize for that. Alright, tomorrow opponent doesn't go with the most with that scary of a lead. Thankfully Cell still is not a grass type, so we will be able to spore it. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to go for a calm mind and a spore on that cell still is threat. As we do have psychic terrain up, not electric terrain. We're not making that even mistake. Psychic terrain is up, not electric terrain. So we will just go for that calm mind and spore play. See what my opponent decides decides to do. Yeah, I thought a dazzling gleam to not only break our slash, but to get some damage off on our Tapu Lele. Makes sense. We are going to be citrus though, so as long as nothing takes us out, we will be able to um, eat that citrus and get root back up to a decent amount of health. Oh no, it's a faster cell still. A... Okay. Okay, we can go with that though, because it was on Paris. Alright, I need to stop banking on Cell Stiller's being slow, because that was a faster Cell Stiller. That's actually decent for us. It's actually pretty decent, because now we can trap in the... Um, I do have to protect this turn, though, because I'm not sure we can take out the... I'm not sure we can take out the Celestilla with one Thunderbolt, but I will be protecting. I don't want to lose our Tapu Lele to a Heavy Slam plus a Dazzling Gleam. So yeah, we will be protecting. So because of that special defense I'll rise that Celestilla just got. So not bad, not bad, not bad at all. And this episode will be going up really late anyways too, which, I'm, I'm, which I am sorry about. It is a little unfortunate, but um, 
I, uh, I still had a lot of tweaking and stuff that I had to do just in general with stuff that involves the channel and just some important other stuff that I had to get done before I was able to record. So we are here now. My one tournament has been taking up a decent amount of my time. That's a pretty powerful Thunderbolt on a Pokemon that resisted. So much artists can do. Yep, and it barely does over half, so I'm glad that I did not uh that I did not allow our Tapu Lele to take that heavy slam. So not bad. Not bad. Alright, so we're just going to go for a psychic. Tapu Coco protects so well. I hope this takes please take out. Oh, double protect. Just to get that. Yep, double protect. Makes sense. We did do slightly over half, but I think we can I think we did enough damage to take uh to take Cell Stella out at the amount of health it's at now. I think we did enough damage. I'm pretty sure we did. And sorry guys, you're like going to see me in hats until I get a haircut. My hair on the sides is just so wild. And uh, just looks bad to me. So <laughs> I'll probably be in hats and stuff until I get that taken care of. I do get paid on Monday though, so I want to get a haircut there. We are going to get this Psychic off on Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko went for another Thunderbolt, so we are going to take out Tapu Koko. So let's pray that this is enough damage to take out Soul Stiller. And it is like I thought it would be. So that's a double knockout. Not bad, not bad at all. And we are going to live. We are going to live our life for recoil. Oh, as I didn't explain the set that our Magnezone is. It is a Magnet Pool, so that Cell Stella can't switch out. It is really for counting the Cell Stillas. So a Magnet Pool... Ooh, and Guard Chomp. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Ooh, 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 ooh. Work with me, game. Work with me. Alright, we're just going to protect Tapu Lele. His Guard Chomp can go for that Poison Jab. We don't want that happening. I'll likely take us out. As uh, we've only boosted our special defense. Yeah, it goes for that poison jab, so we will get a flash cannon off on guard chomp. Not bad. I do hope this. Shut up, bro. Yes, alright. I was hoping that uh, Marowak targeted us so that we can get a free switch in for our uh, um, Paris. Paris. And uh, then I think we can win this game. Oh, no, no, no. We don't have Paris anymore. I forgot that we lost it. I forgot that we lost it. Oh, I hope this isn't a misplay. I hope this isn't a misplay. I just didn't want to surf into our own Pokemon. Yeah, our opponent is going to go for that Poison Jab that will like to take us out. Oh, no, no, it doesn't take us out. We win the game. Awesome. I thought we were bulky enough, so I was running 188 in uh, defense and 252 in HP. I thought we were bulky enough, but I didn't know. Didn't want to be too short. Could have been a Life Orb, uh, Guard Chomp, or a bunch of crazy stuff. But yeah, that is going to be GG as our um, Z move will definitely take out this uh, Alola Marowak. So not bad. Not bad. So we're playing decent with this team, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Hydro! Goodbye! Goodbye! <laughs> Oh, and I also wanted to ask you guys, uh, what do you think of the lighting we have right now? I don't know if uh, when I do record on at night, if this lighting is a little too much or if it's not, or if it's uh, just enough. I'm not really sure, so definitely uh, let me know what you guys think of the lighting situation we currently have. Let me know. Let me know, let me know. Alright, as so we get our first win, so not bad. Didn't even take 10 minutes to get that win. So let's just search for another battle. Why not? 
Why not? League title defense. Oh, I didn't even see where they were from or what their rating was. Unfortunately enough, I was looking at the music too much. <coughs> <coughs> Woo, that was a lot. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, my opponent Mo is going to have a team of Alolan. Oh my contact even messed up after after all that coughing. All right. Our opponent Mo is going to have a team of Alolan Nine Tails, Porygon Z, uh, Pelipper, Tapu Lele, Zerkatree, and Garchomp. So very interesting team. Very very interesting team. I like Tapu Lele Parasect again. I really do. I really, really do. I really, really, really do. Definitely like Magnezone in this one. It's our best answer to Zerkatree. Zerkatree was a Pokemon of our last team. Uh, with Mag... With... <sighs> Why am I making talking so difficult? With Metagross, uh, tackling Zerkatree wasn't the best. Definitely got a better matchup with... Uh, with Magnus on now. That was not what I'm playing. It's a million dollar question. I summon the counter hell. No. Other than two things, Marowak looks like it can be good in this one. Other than against that Garchomp and a uh, Caliper, Marowak looks like it can be good in this one. So we're going with that and we will see how it goes. We'll see. Alright, Charmed by Pokemon Channel Mode. Alright, this is interesting. The play that I really want to go for is Calm Mind, Protect, Paris. So I'm afraid of a Discharge and a Poison Jab. I'm afraid of that, that combination together. Honestly, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I am going for it. Let's see how that goes. Oh, it's my opponent with Draws. Let's go. It goes into their own tap away. Right? Not bad. As we protect, we can level Poison Jab, we know that from the last episode. Yep, my opponent does use Poison Jab, so interesting enough. Now we can learn that. And bring us below half, as long as it doesn't poison, we're good. We'll eat our Citrus. We'll eat our Citrus. And we'll get a beautiful Calm Mind up. So I guess my opponent was fearing that his Zerkatry was going to be slower than our Paris and didn't want, it, didn't want to get scored, but I think that would have still been able to score the Tapu Lele. So I'm not really sure what my opponent was predicting there. Not really sure. We're just going to Rage Powder and Moon Blast the Garchomp. So. As long as this isn't Sash Chomp, which I'm, looks like it actually might end up being Sash Chomp, it would be really unfortunate. It would be really unfortunate. Because then my opponent can go for the double target on our Paris this turn, take it out with Sash Chomp, and then still have Sash Chomp around for another poison jab this next turn. Moonblast on Paris. Yes, it's not Sash Chomp. Let's go. Let's go. I was very afraid of it being Sash Chomp. Thankfully, it's not. I really, really. No. Magnezone's definitely the play. Definitely the play. Porygon Z, though.
I am going to protect Tapu Lele and Flash Cannon. I am afraid of the Breakneck Blitz, because that happened to me before the last time I faced the Polygon Z. It wasn't, I thought it would be Z conversion or whatever everyone's been talking about. I have yet to face the Z. I have yet to face the Z conversion of Porygon Z, but I've been hearing a lot about that. But uh, I thought the one Porygon Z I was going to face was going to be that. It turned out it was uh, Breakneck or the, or not Breakneck, I don't know why I keep calling it that. I think it's like Berserk Blitz. Something like that. Oh, it is Z conversion. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, and I'm my opponent targeted for like slot too. God dang. So not not the best on our part at all. We are gonna take out the tap of Lele at least, uh, at the least. So I'm pretty sure Z conversion like raises all your stats or something. I don't know why we didn't just see that, but I'm pretty sure it raises every stat by one. What I am going to do is definitely psychic that uh, psychic that Porygon V slot and switch into Marowak to not take an electric type attack from Zerka Tree. This is why we brought Marowak. A good matchup it had against anything that wasn't uh, Garchomp or Pelipper, so not bad. We do see an Ice Beam. How do I have a Lele? Can we? No! Oh my god. This again. This again. This again. Oh, we thought out. We thought out. Thank the. Oh, I right, see. Right, you're a good guy. Okay. What I have to do is I have to force my opponent to... I have to force my opponent to attack the Tapu Lele. And the match was forfeited, so let's go! Let's go! Ooh, I thought that last turn wasn't like completely, completely over. If my opponent double targeted a Marowak and I protect the Tapu Lele. Um, because I'm not sure if the uh, Porygon Z's uh, carry Shadow Ball, but um... Because if it does, I think it could have took out Marowak, and then Zerka Tree could have took out Tapu Lele. I'm not sure. My opponent quit, though. So, awesome. It was over. It was over. All right. So, let's get one more battle. We're not even at the 20-minute mark yet. Let's get one more of them battles. As we're going to get a 1665 opponent, Leo from New York in the United States. New York, New York. All right, Leo's going to have a team of Tapu Bulu, Gigalith, Ta um, Porygon 2, Arcanine, Tapu Coco, and Muck. Muck is a Pokemon I hate facing. I absolutely hate facing Muck. I, I really hate it. It's really, really good. Like, it's really good. I can't wait to make my own really good Muck team. I made one for a friend already. Hopefully I can make my own really good Muck team. Alright, I want to go with our dubious double rain lead, but I'm fearing the Tapu Koko. No, we're fine, we're fine. We're going for that. We're going to put Marowak, uh, Marowak in the back, and what else, what else, what else? Yeah, Magna's on. We're going with it. We're flying with it. Gonna see how it rolls. Let's see what we can do. I want to play that Jeopardy music when we click our team faster than someone and we're just waiting on them. That Jeopardy music is so classic. It is very classic. Much better than your everyday uh, elevator music. Much better than your everyday elevator music. Anyways, though, let's get into this battle with Leah. Let's get into this battle. What you got for us, Leah? Alright, Leah, uh, we're going to go with our dubious rain lead of Pelipper and Parasect. So our opponent does go with that Muck and Tapu Koko, so I was fearing Tapu Koko. 
Because my opponent's running. If he's running. My opponent's running discharge, we're in trouble. That's the only thing. If he's running discharge, we're in trouble. If he's not, we're fine. But if he is, we're in trouble. Yeah, I am just going to. No, 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 no. The opposite of that. I'm going to Tailwind and. And Rage Powder. My opponent is running at discharge. We are in trouble. Let's pray no discharge. 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 Oh god damn. Alright. Alright, this is gonna make this much more difficult to win now. It's going to make it much, 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 much more difficult to win. Here's what we can do, bro. Yes, Tapu Coco protects, so not bad. Not bad. We're just going to Rage Powder and uh, Bone Bone uh, Bone Meringue? I don't know if I've been saying that wrong. Bone Namoring? No, nah, it's Bone Namoring. Going to Bone Namoring that muck. Do we take it out? We just let's take it out. It takes it out. Let's go. Let's go. Our pair is just going to keep getting that health back. Hopefully, maybe we can get all the way back to healthy. I'm just kidding. We likely won't be able to. But if we were able to, that would bring our stash back. So it would make it to where we're two hit K. Oh, the game. I do think we might be faster than... No. Come on, game, work with me here. All right, all right, all right. What's our play? What's our play? Because what I'm fearing here is we are in electric terrain, so we can't score the Porygon even if we were faster, which we aren't going to be because Porygons have always done outsped. Let's just make sure we went for that correct move. Yeah, we're going to Bone Hammering, and we're going to Rage Powder. That's just uh, well, that's what we have to go for, in my opinion. As my opponent does switch out, so that's what is what I was fearing. Oh, no, we are still going to get a Bone Hammering off on a Pokemon week to it. So not bad, not bad, not bad. It won't take out an Arcanine, it definitely won't be taking out an Arcanine. So we'll just go for another Rage Powder. Yep, my opponent goes for that Ice Beam, takes out our Parasite. So Lucky will take it out. Yeah, it does take it out. But we'll get another Bone Hammer and go, so not bad. This is going to be Okay, at least got it in the yellow. At least got it to the yellow. Here, I think Arcanine likely outspeeds. Oh god. What did my opponent go for here? I didn't envision him protecting his Arcanon. I didn't see that come. It's just dumb on my play. Oh, my opponent's Shadow Balls. Uh, outplay. Okay. Here's what we can do. can protect our Melwak and go for the Thunderbolt on Arcanine. I don't think we can 1v1 a Porygon now, that's the only issue. My opponent does switch in his Capital Coco, so really good on my opponent's play. Oh, and I, I'm an idiot again. I'm an idiot. I cannot go for my 
could not go for my electric type attacks with <laughs> Marowak on the field. Now, I was getting used to that because I have Marowak, but I did do some off screen, and uh, I realized that I couldn't do that off screen. Well, we're just in a pickle in general. The threat is Porygon 2, but we just don't. We do not have something that can really take that out. We just truly do not. Oh, we do not, we do not, we do not. <laughs> What's going to be the plan? What's going to be the plan for taking this out? I guess I'll just go for it. Go try for the double protect. Yeah, my opponent does protect the Tapu Koko. So just try for the double protect. We don't get it, so we will lose a... We'll be losing Marowak. Yeah, this one's in my opponent's favor. Porygon. Oh, I freaking hate Por... I hate Porygon in Electric Terrain. Because if we were able to support this Porygon, we'd be in perfect position, but it's just ruining everything now. I am going to forfeit this game. So good job on my opponent. Good job. Good job. Porygon, I, I have to... Hmm. I have to bring Tapu Lele when I see a Porygon. That's the only way of getting my quality damage off on it and kind of countering it with our Calm Mindset. really does give it a little bit of fits. I have, well, especially when I see... When I see Porygon 2 and Electric Terrain. I will have to bring Tapu Lele due to the fact that we won't be able to spore it. So I will need to bring Tapu Lele so that we can Calm Mind up before it can Shadow Ball us. And there's usually something else on the field that might want to attack too. And then we can have a we can have that a uh, uh, very bulky def special defensive stat and and then start. Oh, and um, we would have been able to counter. I should have just brought Tapu Lele in general to tap to counter the Tapu Coco's. Excuse me. Electric terrain, as um, electric terrain usually does give us a lot of fits. So um, yeah. Next time I know if I see a Tapu Koko, and especially with uh, Porygon too, definitely bring Tapu Lele and try to counter their because uh, we are slower. So if we're both thrown out on the field, our psychic terrain will go up. So try to counter that psych uh, electric terrain with our psychic terrain. So not bad. Lots of intel we got in this uh, in this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I'm going to continue to ladder up and try to get this team to the 1600 so that we have even better quality battles as we and me playing even uh, uh, me, uh, with more practice. Hopefully I can even play at a higher at a hopefully that hopefully I can even play at a higher level, making that so difficult to say. Oh my God. Anyways, though, thank you all so much for watching and supporting the channel. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, please do like, share, and subscribe. Anyways, I'm going to get the heck out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been great. Have a good day. Peace.